Good afternoon. My name is Daniel Palzi. Today we are preparing filet of sole francaise. First, I'll take you through the ingredients. Uh, eggs, Parmesan cheese, parsley for the batter. We're gonna saute the fish in uh, oil, create a golden brown crust, and make a sauce with lemon, white wine, and butter. Okay, when selecting your fish, one of the things you wanna look for are blemishes. Bottom fish, fluke, halibut, flounder have a tendency to have parasites. You'll see red blemishes, you just cut them out, and the remainder of the fish is fine to use. As you can see, here we have local fluke from Point Pleasant, New Jersey. Just came in off the boat, it's beautiful, it's firm flesh. I do prefer to use fluke uh, more often than not. It's just a, uh, a better tasting fish to me personally than flounder. We'll get started with making our batter now. Scrambling our eggs. We use grated Romano and Parmesan, a combination of both. A little fresh parsley. Always a pinch of salt and pepper. Okay, so we have preheated our pan. I'm feeling for a little heat. It's very important that the pan is at the right temperature to create the crust for the fish and the eggs do not stick. We are using a Teflon pan. I suggest also using a Teflon spatula. Let's go through the ingredients for the sauce. We have our saute oil. We are using a uh, canola oil today. Lemon, butter, white wine, fresh squeezed lemon juice, and chicken stock. Now, we wanna season our fish fillets. We're dredging them in flour. Today I am using Wandra flour. It's a little grittier. It works very well for sauteing. It also is a great thickener. You do not have to pre-mix it with water. Lightly dredge your fish in flour after it's seasoned with salt and pepper. Put it into your egg wash mixture to make sure your pan is hot enough. Put a little egg in there. If it bubbles up, you know it's hot enough. When you put your items in your pan, always put them in away from you so that if the fat splatters, it splatters away from you and you don't get burned. And you could hear that sizzle. You can see it's immediately creating a crust. We're gonna give it a little shake, make sure it's not sticking. And now we are going to saute it until it is golden brown. It is golden brown on the edges and we're gonna flip it, again, flipping it all away. Okay, so what we have is a nice golden brown crust. All right, so we saute the fish on both sides. We're gonna remove it now. At this point, if you have more fish to cook, you can go through it and leave it in a low oven. Keep it warm while you're sauteing the rest. I'm gonna remove the saute fat. Now I'm gonna take you through the sauce. Uh, we're gonna add white wine. Always remember to remove the pan from the heat away from the flame when you're adding alcohol to it. Okay. You can always flambe it later. Okay. You wanna flambe it and burn off the alcohol. Little white wine, little fresh squeezed lemon juice. Now we're gonna add our stock. Just let those flavors develop for a moment. Okay. Now at this point, we're gonna add our butter. You wanna lower it now. You don't wanna boil the butter. To thicken your sauce, as I mentioned, we're gonna be using a little wander flour. You do want to turn it off and have a, a light boil going at this time. And just swirl a little of this in there. You could work that in with a spatula. And we're going to work out the wandra. Okay, at this point we're going to put the fish back in. And now we want to, we want to put the finishing touches on the sauces and we, and we want to adjust the consistency. Fresh squeezed lemon. This does need a drop more stock. 
for the consistency I'm looking for. It is your, your preference. Okay, so we're gonna give this a taste. We are looking good there, baby. Needs a pinch of salt and pepper. The parsley goes in at the end. You wanna keep it nice and green. Just to give you an idea for plating, what we look for is to separate our colors. Filet au sol good appetite, Chef Dan.